in, in, in areas to access to electricity, all of those issues and making people pay their fair share in taxes, meaning the very wealthy who pay nothing, then we would in fact help fund the changes in their country. Guess what? Immigration slowed up precipitously. If you notice, there is a net migration to Mexico now. Can, can she understand my, me? Because I, okay. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, you should vote for Trump. You should vote for Trump. I will not stop all deportations if you have a, if you commit a crime that's a felony. Okay. Well, I got it. I understand. That's all right. That's all right. Let, let him go. No, I got it. I got it. I understand. No matter what happens, somebody commits murder, they shouldn't be deported. No, no, I'm asking you a question. So, someone commits murder. Should they Look, be deported? you sound oh, no. like Obama sounded mm. to the immigrant community in 2008. Okay. And immigrant families were deported. Three million people were separated. Now, I know, I but. Uh, Obama. I campaigned for him because I had hope. And I believe okay. in the promises that he made. Look, and we want to hear you apologize for those three million deportations. Mm -hmm. And we want to hear a commitment to stopping all deportations on day one through executive action. There will be no family separations under my, under my, as, a, as President of the United States. That's a, let, let him go. Let him. That's a lie, you say? All deportations. Thank you. But it stopped. It stopped. It stopped. It did on our administration. It stopped. This, there's, there's a lot to address here, but this is comical to watch in retrospect, right? Him saying that actually there's more people going back to Mexico. We have more, so many people going back to Mexico now. When now we can fast forward to present day, this was when he was on his campaign trail, and we have an unprecedented immigration crisis. We have an unprecedented border crisis. In the first 20 days of September alone, we had 140,000 people cross and be processed. We had about 6,900, averaging 6,900 a day. And that's just the ones that we know about. Biden, I guess he was right here when he said there will be no deportations because there, there's, that's true. We have an issue here with lack of deportations, lack of border security, come one, come all. And it's overwhelming all of our major cities. But then if we want to get to the point that he, he can't even, these are people who ideologically would be voting with him, right? These are people who care about immigration. They want an open border. They want everyone to be here. Once you come here, you're never leaving. That sort of rhetoric. And he can't even control that room. He can't control this. It's, it's out of control. Out of control. But then it's also funny that he says, you should vote for Trump. <laughs> You should vote for Trump. Who does that? What candidate, what politician tells voters to vote for the other guy? He doesn't care about the American people. He's just a puppet. All Joe Biden is is a puppet. The corpse and weekend at Bernie's has more life than this guy. <laughs> He's just a puppet. What a joke. Joke of a man, joke of a country at this point.